Good morning guys, what's going on? This is Marcel Flores from One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's video, the second crazy day. Well no, it's the third day. It's the third day here in Milan. Got my invites ready, all dressed in Dirk Bickenberg. Kinda crazy, I know. This is the man Giuseppe. Ciao. Without this guy, we would be lost entirely. Without this car and without all these clothes back in here to change into. So let's go shoot the first video and take a look at the first show. Okay guys, D squared, look is next. I officially feel like I woke up a little bit. Dirk Bickenberg was cool. I really like the, the shapes of the, the coats. I think the outerwear he does so, so well with the cool like cool pockets and everything. Like you saw the jacket I was wearing just now. I think it's like uh, obviously very oversized, um, the entire look. The pants or something I'm trying to get used to. Just to like, I mentioned it in a video, in a shopping video, I think it was Zara or H&M, that, that I wanna, kind of get away from skinny jeans. I feel like I'm not quite there yet, but anyway. So, change into the car, as per usual. This is this is happening. Getting into leather pants in a car is not the easiest task. <laughs> but for now, let's go check out the 11 presentation. Well, that was just purely beautiful. I'm just gonna get back in the car for a second and talk to you guys about uh, 11 t Ciao ragazzi. 11 is an Italian-made brand. The entire collection was kind of inspired by the U like UK fabrics and everything, and it was beautiful. The, the shapes, the fabrics, I wish you could feel them. Just the texture to the looks, the colors, how they had like minimal looks just with a pop of color is exactly what I would do rather than going all color, all in your face. Very beautiful. I think I'm going to do a little video um, soon about like three Italian brands that you need to know and they're definitely going to be one of them. So if you're watching this, you have a head start before everybody else, go check them out. Seriously. They're, they sell in a lot of stores in America and like uh, globally. You should, you should take a look. Quick drive. Second presentation for the day. Santoni. Take a look at some shoes. Here you are again, already in your place. Hey, the guys, what's up, guys? Uh, the vlog, the vlog, the vlog. Everywhere I go, I see these guys. Everywhere I go. Staying active. That was San Antonio. Really cool. Really crowded. So many people. Oh god. Now, let's check out my outfit and what we see at the D Squared show. Now. That was the show. I'm here with my friend Mahmoud, Mr. Moods, if you What's don't know up? him. Now you know him. He's wearing a, he's wearing a rug. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing, my sister, she's like, why are you wearing a carpet to the show? I was like, hey. you're like, it's Balenciaga. I was like, don't it's you Balenciaga understand fashion. She's like, that means nothing. I was like, it means a lot in our world. But yeah. It was cool, like Bella opened, Kendall closed. It was like a cool event. Definitely like, something different. And, and Yeah, something, what do you think? Yeah. I think it was definitely something different, something we're not used to and, and 
it's interesting to see what, what direction it's going to go in in the coming season. I want to see what one of that lands in the store, actually. That would be interesting. There you go. But the most important part is that we get to hang out. We're about to grab lunch, so yes. let's feed the stomach. Recharged and enjoying the sunshine for a little bit. I can't even open my eyes the entire way. As you can see, I changed one more time. I'm wearing Missoni. So let me show you what this outfit looks like. One more time. So many outfits. I hope you guys like it. All the fashion, all for you. Missoni and a little peek behind the scenes at the um, appointments for the new collection of Fall Winter 2018. So that was Missoni, obviously they are a killer in the game of prints and, and weaves and patterns and fabrics. They actually have a machine that nobody else has anymore because they stopped making it. Like the, the, the company that used to make the machine is bankrupt now. So they're able to produce a fabric that nobody else in the world can. The inspiration behind the collection was like a 90s vibe in New York. So it was really, really cool, obviously translated into the Missoni language. I messed up with the schedule. I thought we were going to go to the Palm Angel show right now and then to Prada. But Prada's first and Palm Angel's is after that. So we got two hours to chill, and chill we will! And that's about enough of that. Ask me whether it was enough. The answer is no. But I shall take you on my iPhone, I'll leave this camera, you guys, I'll leave you right here, I'll take you on my phone, I'll take you to the Prada show right now, I'm running late, let's go! <laughs> That was Prada guys, we'll talk about that more now we're at Palm Angels and there's lasers everywhere, it's the coolest thing! That was a weird show, wasn't it? The male models look great with the face masks on. And the... Yeah, not so much my style. Actually, there was a couple of pieces that were amazing, but I'm in Mark's place hey. with a few friends. Mark's there, though. Hey, this I, is Mark. Yeah, I have no furniture, it's fine. I only have a chair. But it's good, so now I'm on the floor and I'm stretching. Because Mark, Mark, yeah, Mark promotes chair. active lifestyle, basically. Sure. Oh, he's, oh, look how comfy he is. Yeah, the only chair in the house. <laughs> Have you decided where we're eating yet? We are gonna go somewhere nice. Did you hear that? Nice. He was right. It is nice. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Actually, yes. Look at look at all the meat. Look at all the meat. <laughs> What's up? I had to pass out yesterday because I was just done so sorry i'm picking up the next day and we actually got upgraded to a new room here at the hotel manin in milan if you're wondering why i'm wearing a bathrobe the reason is right behind me <laughs> jacuzzi and that's not even necessarily the best part because combine that with this view oh there's a park right there it's so beautiful yeah very happy with this sadly i had to give away all of the clothes that you've been seeing not all i got to keep one or two of the looks but it still looks like a mess in our room what's up brian he's gonna iron it's gonna be great about last night i 
attended the Prada show and was sitting front row. It may seem like all of this is, is normal for me and, and I do it all the time and I travel to these places. <sighs> I've dreamed about moments like this. I was watching fashion shows, I was reading the GQ style as I grew up looking at these, at these photos and looking at the shows and to actually be here in Milan and be invited to Diesel Black Gold, Dirk Bickenberg's Dolce & Gabbana, D Squared, those are brands that I dreamed, I dreamed about just buying a piece. Now I actually get to see the collection as it is released to the world, it's, I don't know, like with Prada it was particularly strong that feeling of, of gratitude and that, that realization of, of where I actually am in my life right now and I just I'm just very fucking happy about everything and with that I want to end my Milan vlog so let me thank you for watching today thank you for tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you thought of today's video or any of the past videos honestly because this is all very different you know, this happens twice a year and I don't usually do it, so for me this is one of the first times where I actually committed to it. So let me know what you think, and if you like men's fashion, or these vlogs, or anything, subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a lot more coming in 2018. Thank you guys one more time for watching, and I'll see you soon. Stay dapper. Bye.